Gaussian splitting models are becoming more common and their production and local training has become easier with the PostShot program. But sharing and presenting these splats models online at the moment is still very early stage because there is no clear public 3D library or marketplace where creators could upload and publish their own 3D Gaussian splatting environments. Although Polycam has already taken a significant step forward by offering the possibility to upload your own PLY files and share links of those through their service, I would like to talk a little about other options as well. What about if you could host your 3D Gaussian splatting models online yourself and use the Play Canvas viewer to display them? Let me show you how this can be done. Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here again. Perhaps the biggest news on the 3D front this week has been the opening of Epic Games' new Fab Marketplace. This online service now collects a huge number of 3D models and assets behind one service and all major manufacturers and individuals can share and sell their 3D models through this service. However, it is only a marketplace and a huge library where we can download assets mainly for game engines or other 3D programs. So in that sense, Fab is not that kind of a public 3D library where we can look and rotate 3D models like the already standard Sketchfab service is. I have always admired the 3D viewer that is built into the Sketchfab. Through it we are able to run 3D models very elegantly and also share and embed them on our own websites. So it would be great to see if in the future Sketchfab could add a feature where we could also present Gaussian splatting models with their viewer. But while waiting that, let's see what other viewer applications are available and how they can be used to display your own PLY files. Play Canvas, which we know better in Gaussian splatting world as a developer of the Super Splat Editor. They have also created a simple and easy to use 3D online viewer that can display Gaussian splatting models in a web browser. You don't really need to install anything to use it, viewer can be found at this address. When you open this web page, you can very simply either open or drag the Gaussian PLY file from your computer into it. And this is how you can view and run your Gaussian splatting models very quickly. However, we have to understand that the file has not yet been uploaded to the internet or anywhere. This viewer works as a so-called browser app and it reads the model locally directly from your computer and just opens the file in this viewer. So from here we can't share it with anyone like this. We can only watch it ourselves. The correct way to use this viewer for sharing the Gaussian splatting models online is that we should have a proper URL link which points to the PLY file that is located in the web directory. In other words, you have to self-host and place your Gaussian PLY file somewhere in the web where Play Canvas viewer can have access to read it. You may immediately think that what if I use some cloud service for file sharing? Unfortunately, common cloud services such as Google Drive, Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive do not work for this purpose. Although you can generate download links to individual files through them, but in this case it's not about downloading the file. Play Canvas Weaver only needs to be able to read the PLY file from the URL web address. So to make this work we need a web host, a server place where we usually upload our home pages. 
If you have ever created a website for yourself and you have working domain address, then you have the option to upload and create such a URL link that works with Play Canvas Viewer. And I still want to emphasize that by creating a web page, I don't mean services like Squarespace or Wix or any of these popular online services. They won't necessarily work for this purpose either. I mean, a web host service that you have access to using the good old FTP method. Here, for example, I used the free CyberDuck file transfer protocol program, with which I have opened a connection to the server where one of my home pages are located. Here, at the root of the public HTML directory, I create a new folder which I name 3DGS. You can name yours however you want, but it's good to be short and something you can remember easily. And now, in this directory, I can upload my own PLY files. Now, in practice, the URL to this file goes as follows. First, the prefix HTTPS. Then, you need your domain address, which in my case goes like this slash the folder name which you created earlier, slash the name of your PLY file. Remember, file needs to be typed exact just as it is. URL addresses are case sensitive, so be accurate when you write it. And now that we have URL to our file, we can test will it work. I copy paste it to my web browser address field and if the browser starts to download the file, it works correctly. If the browser shows that it can't find the file, check and read through your address again. You might have some typos in there. When you get your URL to work, you can go back to the Play Canvas Viewer page and refresh it so you can now use this field where you can paste the URL. Now you can see the Play Canvas viewer is trying to load a file from your server. But I'm pretty sure that the process isn't going anywhere and it just keeps rotating the loading sign. So the viewer cannot open your file yet. If you are using the Google Chrome browser, you can switch to the developer mode by pressing the F12 key. Here at the bottom corner you will probably see an error like this that says fail to fetch. This means that the so-called core security configuration setting, which is automatically built inside the modern web browsers, prevents the file from being read from your server. Course comes from the words cross-origin resource sharing and it is security standard that enables servers to indicate the origin from which browsers are allowed to request resources. So to fix this, we need to make certain changes to our server directory. Let's go back to the FTP program and open again the folder where we uploaded our PLY files. In this folder, we need to create a hidden HD access file where we will code a very short command that will give the browser the permission to read and open all the files that are saved in this directory. And it happens like this. I will right click here and choose create new file. Then I will type dot HD access. The dot prefix means that this will be a hidden file. If you don't see the file after you create it, you can go to the view menu and choose show hidden files. It's the access file will appear here and so now I can select it and press this edit button. I have chosen a Visual Studio code as my default editor. So this hidden file will open for me in there, but you can basically use any text editor like Notepad for this. In the editor, we need to create this if module headers tag, where we need to type this header set access control allow origin command. 
and define it to this asterisk, which means that it will give the permission to all the files that will be added in this folder. Then I just save the file. I will write these code lines in the description where you can copy paste them into your own htaccess file. After this, when we now go back to the Play Canvas viewer and paste the URL again to the field, it should now open the PLY file as it is meant to. However, remember that depending how big your file size is, it will take longer to open and display it in the viewer application. And now that the Gaussian splatting file is open, we can finally share a working link from it to our clients or friends. Sharing option can be found behind this button. Play Canvas Viewer can even build a QR code for your model if you want to use one. Let's take a closer look at what the link structure actually consists of. At the beginning, we see that there must be the address to the Play Canvas Viewer. Then, directly after this, there is this part question mark load is equal to. And then there is written the part where the PLY file is located. And that's it. The link which needs to be shared is very easy to write, and if you want to use other PLY files in the same directory, we just need to update and change this part of the link. So it is very easy and simple to use. But let me show another trick with which we can affect to the camera position. If we add the ampersand sign immediately after the link, and write a parameter called camera position, notice that P is capital, and we continue is equal to 1, 2, 3. And now if we copy this entire line and paste it into our web browser, we notice that the model loads in a slightly different position. These three values represent X, Y and Z coordinates. And if we now chase them here on the address field, let's say 2, 3, 3, and press enter, the viewer will update and the camera position will change. So this is an interesting way to change the camera position and find a good angle to open the model. Although it is a bit challenging and it takes a while to understand the logic behind it. You can also enter fractions of numbers like 0 0.25 and so on, and the numbers can also be negative values. The camera works here so that it always looks at the center of the model, and only the camera unit is moved with these axis coordinates. If you feel that finding a suitable camera angle seems impossible, and the whole model seems to be in the wrong position, you can open the PLY file in, for example, the SuperSpot service and turn the whole model there to a new position. In SuperSplat, you can also move the model so that the origin point is where you want it to be. This camera setting function becomes useful especially in models that are 3D scans of a room or other environments. If we load the model into the viewer without camera coordinates, we stay outside the Gaussian splatting pile, and from this view the model is very difficult to understand because it looks mostly like contemporary art. And the users who see such Gaussian model for the first time does not necessarily understand how to zoom inside the model where the main parts of the model are located. That's why it is important that we can define the camera coordinates when the model opens. And because of this feature, in my opinion, Play Canvas Viewer is very versatile and probably the best viewer application that is available at the moment, and relatively easy to master for Gaussian splatting models creators who wants to share their custom 3D scans online. Although the Polycan service which I mentioned earlier offers an easy and convenient way to present 
and share pay-a-while models. Also, their service still has this shortcoming where we cannot influence the camera angles. And all the Gaussian models we upload there always opens a very strange opening position. That's why I recommend trying Play Canvas Viewer in practice. And self-hosting options for your own models are always useful to learn. Because there will certainly be more viewer apps like this in the future. And when we have direct links to our PLY files, we can easily use them and take advantages that these new applications and services will bring. Now that we talk about Play Canvas, here at the end I would like to give a recommendation and a hint to you all about the View Dependent podcast. Michael Rubloff, who is the creator of the Radiance Field website, and Mr. Nerf Janusz Patas are co-hosting this interesting podcast show. They interview and gather important researchers, developers and influencers from this field to tell their stories and development processes about Radiance Fields and Gaussian splatting technology. Among other things, in there is an episode where Play Canvas CEO Will Eastcott talks about Supersplat and its new features and shows also interesting things that their online-based Play Canvas game engine can do with Gaussian splatting models. I myself had also the honor of being a guest in one of their podcast episodes. I'll put the links to these in the description. I hope that you found this video useful and inspirational. And once again, if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to look for new Gaussian viewer applications. Thanks for watching. I know I'm moving through life like it's a runway I'ma live life in style And paint this life like a masterpiece There's no bringing us down And we don't know what tomorrow holds So we gon' live